This is New York Living, the Arts Report. The Pirates of Penzance first debuted in New York City more than 125 years ago. And in the ensuing years, the operetta has been produced here in a wide variety of productions. But as our arts reporter Stephanie Simon tells us, there's always room for yet another new interpretation. It's not the very model of a modern major musical. In fact, if this production of the Gilbert and Sullivan classic, Pirates of Penzance, seems a little mashugana, well, it is. Pirates is one of the, f it's maybe the funniest musical comedy ever written. And then you add on top of that, put it into Yiddish, and it gets funnier still. In the fall, the National Yiddish Theater, Volksbina, mounted the first ever full-scale production of Pirates of Penzance in Yiddish. Now, it's back for an encore. The only thing that surprised me about the success of the show is that I understand it's actually also been done in English. I can't imagine how that could possibly work. Don't cross upstage or cross downstage. We caught up with the cast and crew during a rehearsal. Alan Lewis Rickman not only acts and directs, he also translates the Yiddish show into English for super titles. But sometimes the humor comes from the very sound of the Yiddish. Everybody knows I am the very model of a modern major general. But when it comes out, I was like, what? You know, how do you sing that in 16th notes? And, um, but it's a wonderful challenge and it's a treat. It's it sounds so funny. <laughs> Stephen Mohannon made his Broadway debut in the Pirates of Penzance, but never thought he'd do it in Yiddish. Where somehow the pirates are Jews and the Major General sings a song about how difficult it is to find kosher food in the army and get a minion. I mean, it's really, it's just, it's, it's just, it's, it's hilarious. I think Gilbert would have loved it. <laughs> The rehearsals are taking place here at the Folks Bina headquarters in Midtown. The show, Diam Gazlonum, will take place at the JCC on the Upper West Side through April 1st. <laughs> Folks Bina is now in its 92nd season, making it the longest continuously producing Yiddish theater company in the world and one of the oldest theater companies in America. Rickman trained the actors in Yiddish, making audio tapes for each one. The Major General's daughter, Mabel, or Malka, is played by Danny Marcus. She says she first learned her part phonetically. That's another thing that, you know, when, when people are doing, you know, a Yiddish accent, everything has the hin and the chin, you know, but really there are a lot of words like helfen. It's just a regular H. Helfen schmelfen. In Midtown, Stephanie Simon, New York One. Thank <laughs> you.